Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is video two on red blood cell or erythrocyte. In the first video, we talked about introduction and we divide morphology of red blood cell in three parts: shape, size, and structure. So we have already discussed about shape and size of red blood cell. If you haven't seen the video, the link is in the description. Now coming on to the next topic that is structure of red blood cell. So let's get started. Structure of red blood cell. RBC do not have nucleus and cell organelles. RBC only have cytoplasm, which is enclosed by the surrounding cell membrane. Major part of the cytoplasm is hemoglobin, that is around ninety eight percent. We'll discuss hemoglobin in much detail in upcoming videos, so stay tuned. Rest two percent we have cytoplasmic enzymes and other substances. Cytoplasmic enzymes are capable of metabolizing glucose and forming ATP to meet up the energy requirement of red blood cell which is needed in the transport of respiratory gases as this metabolic system become progressively less active with time so it limits the life span of red blood cell up to 120 days now coming on to the second structure that is the cell membrane or the plasma membrane of red blood cell so i am showing you a simple diagrammatic representation where we have phospholipid bilayer arrangement like this we have hydrophobic cells and hydrophilic head arranged in this form so this is the bilayer structure and in between we have cholesterol molecule like this and embedded in the cell membrane we have transmembrane protein like this and on to the one side of membrane we have peripheral membrane protein like this and on the surface we have carbohydrates so this is a simple arrangement of the cell membrane cell membrane consists of 8% of carbohydrates 50% 52% of protein and 40% of lipids phospholipids and cholesterol so now let's study cell membrane and the related structure in detail so here we have a figure which clearly shows few of the structure simultaneously i will draw a diagrammatical representation of this structure as soon as i mention this structure try to locate that structure in this diagram so you will be able to construct diagrammatical representation easily and you will understand this concept so let's start with the first structure which is your plasma membrane or the cell membrane are you able to locate plasma membrane which is in the yellow color so this is your plasma membrane embedded in the plasma membrane are you able to locate membrane protein it is in brown color so one of a membrane protein is your band 3 this is your band 3 dimer which is an integral membrane protein or transmembrane protein okay beneath plasma membrane are you able to locate orange color layer this is your cytoskeleton cytoskeleton is made up of two structure green color structure is your spectrin so the cytoskeleton is made up of spectrin chain and small bead like structure or small filament that is your actin so are you able to see this structure so here this green color structure is your spectrin and this red bead like structure is your actin so what i said you have plasma membrane and beneath plasma membrane you have cytoskeleton cytoskeleton is made up of spectrin and actin cytoskeleton is very important structure as it maintains cell integrity and provide elasticity that allows the rbc to squeeze through smallest capillaries without getting damage cytoskeleton is connected to the plasma membrane by means of binding protein so here we have binding protein and these are the binding protein that get anchored to the integral membrane protein so here you are able to see enkyrin which i have shown here and this is a binding protein complex made up of four to five different type of protein namely band 4.1 also known as protein 4.1r adducin P fifty five, 
and dematin so these two are not shown in this figure clearly but we'll use several images to study cell membrane structure so you will be able to see that there so this is all about the structure and this binding protein are peripheral membrane protein so now let's discuss in detail what is integral membrane protein what is peripheral membrane protein and then we'll discuss the structure of cytoskeleton before that i want to signify on one point that this cytoskeleton is attached to the plasma membrane at two major sites the first is junctional complex and the second is enchirine complex enchirine you might have guessed till now so see spectri enchirine and then the integral membrane protein so this complex is known as enchirine complex and junctional complex is integral membrane protein with actin and the binding protein protein 4.1 adducin dematin p55 so this you can simply say this is your junctional complex i am writing it here one that is junctional complex and this is your enchirine complex two so just remember this i will discuss this again so let's move on to the next topic that is integral membrane protein so integral membrane protein are also known as trans membrane protein as they are stretched through the entire thickness of the cell membrane if this is the cell membrane then integral membrane protein are stretched through the entire thickness meaning they are present from the start to end function they bind to hemoglobin also they serve as anchoring point for the cytoskeleton of rbc which we have discussed now and integral membrane protein also express antigen of abo blood groups if a antigen is present then the blood type will be a if b antigen is present then the blood type will be b both the antigen are present meaning a is also there and b is also there then the blood type will be ab no antigen there no a no b then the blood type will be o in addition it also express rh antigen if the erythrocyte surface have rh antigen then the blood type will be rh positive if no antigen on the erythrocyte then the blood type will be rh negative so this was all about integral membrane protein now let's see are you able to tell me whether this are integral membrane protein or peripheral membrane protein so this is your image now from this image you have to tell me which are integral membrane protein so first definition of integral membrane protein was they stretch to the entire thickness of the cell membrane so this is your cell membrane so you can see band 3 protein in the green color see this this are stretched through entire thickness so they are integral membrane protein then you have gpa they are also stretched to the entire thickness of cell membrane then you have cd47 you can see rh complex you can see stomatin glut1 gpc this all are integral membrane protein as they are stretched through entire thickness we'll discuss the function of each of them in a while before that just see band 3 is involved in two complexes i have discussed enchirine complex and junctional complex so here you can see enchirine complex junctional complex in enchirine complex beta spectrin this is i will explain what is beta spectrin just say spectrin spectrin is bind to the enchirine then enchirine is bind to this complex which is made up of band 3 rh complex cd47 and also one binding protein is there protein 4.2 or band 4.2 okay and this is your enchirine complex whereas junctional complex is also known as protein 4.1 complex as protein 4.1 is the binding protein here 
whereas in this complex n-carine is the binding protein so it is called as n-carine complex here protein 4.1 is the binding protein so it is called as protein 4.1 complex or junctional complex or actin spectrin junctional complex so remember the various name here band tree forms membrane complex with gpa gpc glucose transporter stomatin and it is connected to the actin filament via protein 4.1 adducin and p55 so in the last image you were not able to locate p55 so here you can see here this purple color ball is your p55 now let's discuss the function of integral membrane protein so first is band 3 as i said before band 3 forms membrane complexes it is involved in the junctional complex as well as the ankyrene complex Second function is that it act as an anion exchange channel. Bicarbonate ions and chlorides ions. Aquaporin for water transport. Glutathione for glucose transport. Piezo one is the cation transporter. Potassium and calcium. Glycophorin. We have four different glycophorin: glycophorin A, glycophorin B, glycophorin C, and glycophorin D. Glycophorin perform vital biochemical and structural function. First function is cell to cell. recognition glycophorin helps cell to recognize other cell as familiar or foreign cell the second function is cell adhesion function glycophorin helps cell to bind to the nearby cells cd47 cd47 binds to protein 4.1 and rh complex within the n-carine linked band 3 complex function of cd47 is that it act as a marker of self on rbc it prevent phagocytosis of autologous rbc by splenic red pulp macrophages by binding to signal regulatory protein alpha on the macrophages stomatin stomatin interacts with glutathione and regulates glucose influx into the erythrocytes so glucose influx next we have rh associated glycoprotein this is an carbon dioxide channel then we have several other protein like duffy kel this protein carries specific antigen for a particular blood group which gives rise to several blood group systems so duffy carries uh, fy blood group antigen kel glycoprotein carries kel antigen we'll study various blood groups in the blood group video this topic is peripheral membrane protein peripheral membrane protein are located on the inner side of the plasma membrane this protein are interconnected by many intercellular filaments that are your spectrin and actin forming complex mesh like network called cytoskeleton of cell cytoskeleton network imparts elasticity that allows rbc to pass through smallest capillaries in the body without getting damaged and cytoskeleton is made up of actin and spectrin chains and this protein are anchored to the transmembrane protein by means of peripheral membrane protein such as ankyrene band 4.2 protein 4.1 r adducin dimatin and p55 now let's locate this peripheral membrane protein on an image 
so here we have image so are you able to locate peripheral membrane protein so here we have enkyrene you can see protein 4.2 here you can see p55 you can see protein 4.1 r you can see dimatin here and you can see adducin here so these are the location of peripheral membrane protein on the inner surface of the plasma membrane so you can see in the enkyrene complex this is your enkyrene complex in enkyrene complex protein 4.2 and enkyrene is the binding protein and in protein 4.1 r complex or junctional complex there are four different binding protein like dimatin p55 adducin and band 4.1 or protein 4.1 now let's discuss the cytoskeletal arrangement that imparts elasticity and allows the cell to pass through the smallest capillaries so cytoskeleton is made up of actin and spectrin so firstly we'll discuss about spectrin so spectrin is a long flexible protein composed of two parallel chain alpha and beta or you can say spectrin is formed by the lateral association of alpha and beta chain to form dimer then dimer is associated in head on head formation to form tetramer so you have beta here and here alpha so this is your spectrin tetramer spectrin maintains cell membrane stability and integrity now talking about actin actin is small double helix filament of non muscle or beta actin called protofilaments and it is made up of around 13 to 15 subunits and it constitute central nodes for cross linking by the spectrin so for actin two related structure are there one is tropomyosin so we'll study that and then we'll see tropomodulin so first tropomyosin tropomyosin you can say it coats the actin filament it is a rod like molecule which is extended along the actin and its function is to mechanically stabilize actin filaments and regulates interaction of spectrin and actin then we have tropomodulin or you can say t mod 1 the short actin filament are capped at their end points by this protein called tropomodulin and you can say the short actin filaments are coated by tropomyosin so let's see by diagram so here we have spectrin tetramer and actin so we have zoomed in image so here you can see spectrin tetramer this is your alpha chain this is your beta and this is beta and this is alpha so you can see beta chain is linked with enkyrene whereas both the chains are connected to the actin molecule there is a special type of arrangement of actin and spectrin you can see in this image that six spectrin are bind per actin filament forming hexagonal arrangement so this ball is your actin and this long chains are your spectrin so this arrangement imparts elasticity to the cell membrane so here you can see at the end you have tropomodulin and along the length you have tropomyosin so this was all about structure of cytoskeleton and we have discussed the morphology of red blood cell part we have first hereditary spherocytosis it is caused by the molecular defect in one or more protein of red blood cell cytoskeleton that includes and kyrene 
बैंड थ्री और प्रोटीन फोर पॉइंट टू इन दिस कंडीशन सेल इज डिफॉर्म एंड इट लूज इज बाइकॉनकेव शेप एंड बिकम ग्लोबुलर और यू कैन से स्पेरिकल सो वी कॉल इट एज स्पेरोसाइट स्पेरोसाइट आर वेरी फ्रेजाइल एंड गेट इजीली रक्चर्ड सेकेंड डिसीज इज हेरिडेटरी एलिप्टोसाइटोसिस इन दिस कंडीशन द सेल इज डिफॉर्म्ड एज ओवल और इलेप्टिकल शेप्ड आर बी सी सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज इलिप्टोसाइट इलिप्टोसाइट्स आर ऑल्सो फ्रेजाइल एंड गेट इजीली रक्चर्ड वेन दे आर पासिंग थ्रू कैपिलरीज सो इट इज कॉज ड्यू टू जेनेटिकल अल्ट्रेशन इन द स्पेक्ट्रीन प्रोटीन फोर पॉइंट वन एंड बैंड थ्री एंड रेयरली इन ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन सी सो दिस इज रेयर सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग स्टेट यून फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो